Well, you know, Coach, share with me briefly your battle cry. We're getting ready to start the second half, and the, and the halftime show was a, a solid show. But mm -hmm. the battle cry this year is no excuses. And I know last year uh, you had several things to hamper your season, a young quarterback starting for the first time. But you chose to go no excuses this year. And I kind of like that approach. Well, I mean, last year we, we talked about why we went 5-7 and seven, uh, instead of worrying about how we could turn that around. This was the year that we said no excuses. Uh, we started off early. Uh, we brought in a, a, a freshman kicker, Raymond Blanks. He did a great job of kicking the ball. They, they mishandled it, and so they started the field off with four uh, Deep field in their position. own territory. Yeah, and they, they make a big play here to get them going. Um, but here, they still don't get points because we kept the field long for them. They weren't going to go 93 yards uh, for a touchdown against us. So uh, they got a few uh First downs here during this opening drive, but once again we were able to shut the door down on it. We had Justin Borden, one of our seniors, get a nice interception. Um, the ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage, and he he gets to play in there. And, you know, Coach Hester's always on the sideline, telling the guys when they pass for us to get their hands up, and that was an example of why they should do that. Uh, once again, Ulysses Banks is running extremely hard, uh, gets a few hard-earned yards there, five yards here. We make a mistake. We, uh, we actually should have went to the other side. We didn't see that we had numbers to the other side, so we should have checked out of it. Uh, so they storm us here. We try to get the screen going again. And once again, watch this. Uh, running hard. And uh, this is still started that drive, and I think we come up about a yard short. So once again, we want to keep the field long for them. So we punted it and gave it to them uh, inside the 20. Chance did a great job. He pinned them down on the 15-yard line again inside the 20. I think he did that three times yesterday. So... Once again, they have to do a long drive to get it. Uh, of course, they don't, so they end up punting it, and we get the ball back. And here again, Ulysses Banks is running hard. Um, Helmets and shoulder pads, all he was feeding those guys. Man. And that's what he should have. Um, once again, uh, we get ourselves in the third down situation, and we don't get it. And this is, this is what some people didn't see now. In our third quarter, um, our senior center, uh, Emmanuel, um, uh, not Emmanuel, Xavier Emmanuel, was. Uh, in the side, inside, get, uh, suffering from body cramps, a full body cramp, and we couldn't get him out. So we had to put a freshman center in there, uh, Joe Quincy or Eugene, who did a great job for us. He stayed calm. Um, this is an example of, of what a team does for you. Russell, Russell Jackson, Charles Meade, our two um, a veteran linemen who, who sit beside this freshman, kept him settled on the football field and kept him into the uh, game and understanding what was going on until we were able to get um, Xavier back. Here we made a mistake. Uh, we got a little pressure uh, off the side, and uh, they got a big play on us. And uh, Kevin shouldn't have thrown that ball there. He kind of thrown it blind. He made a big mistake there. But our defense has to take, uh, bail us out, and that's exactly what they do. They come in, shut them down. Matter of fact, they make them lose yardage, so they end up not getting anything out of it here. Nice read. A nice Kevin. play we put in, a uh, little option play where we knew he would end up keeping the ball, and he ends up going about 25 yards, but now he's suffering from cramps. So now we got to throw in um, Deontay. Deontay was in there signaling uh, plays all night, and um, we had to go get his helmet and everything, but he was ready to go here. Uh, he got his arm hit a little bit. He should have got that ball up there a little better and got it completed. Um, here, Tony Green running, running hard for another first down. And, and, you know, these first downs are really significant. No, we didn't score, but it kept our defense off the field, gave us a chance to uh, burn off some time. And once again, we pin them down Beautiful inside. Punt. Absolutely. This is Chance Wilson. Nice coverage by the guy who downed it, too. And that's Corey Morrison again. Um, almost got him in the end zone here. They get a big play to get out of the shadow of the end zone. But once again, that big play does not put them nowhere near our territory. So they still have a long way to go before they can start celebrating about getting an opportunity to score some points. Again, our defense is swarming to make a play that we get the ball back. Ulysses Banks again, we feeding him. He's running hard. Our offensive line is doing a great job of uh, blocking. And hit, look at this run here. Just just watch this run. I don't even need, need to say much about it, but just watch the effort on this kid. Determination. Man. You know, and, and, he, and I'm going to tell you now, he's the smallest one, him and Tony. They're the smallest guys out there. They don't have nobody on, their, on that field. That's, a, that's smaller than those guys, and those guys are running over and running through them like that. That's just great determination. Coach Errol Jones does a great job with them, keeping their pad level down, working them extremely hard. So, again, an example of uh, great coaching. Uh, here, they get us on the little play here. 
uh, a big play here. Lord, Lord Morris, Lord Morris goes to take a seat on the sideline because he was upset that he was able to get that ball completed. But uh, again, our defense played well. They end up shutting him down. Uh, ball game. Uh, and again, we dominated time. We think we had the ball for almost 36, over 36 minutes. Uh, and anytime you can do that, that's a great thing here. A part of, again, part of respect weekend, but this is something that we do anyway. Win, lose, or draw, we're going to go across the field, uh, show our opponents respect by uh, on, uh, shaking their hand and, and appreciating the efforts uh, on both sides of the football. 